Hi guys, welcome to the Exploity video series. My name is Apar and I'm an IoT security bandit at Exploity. So in today's video, I'm going to guide you through how you can install the Exploity framework on your system. So starting with the first thing first, let's install the de dependencies or the prerequisites. So here's a list of different distros. So for example, mine is Ubuntu. So I'll copy this command right here. Head back to my terminal, paste it here, hit enter. So yeah, that has installed the dependencies for me. Now moving on. So the first method is by downloading the archive and installing the exploity framework by extracting files from it. So there are two methods of doing this. One is downloading the archive from the GitLab project. The other is by using the curl command. First, I will demonstrate how you can download the archive using the curl command. Simply copy this curl command, paste it on your terminal, hit enter. So this has downloaded a tar archive for us. So now let's extract the files. As you can see, exploity master, change directory to exploity master. You can rename it to exploity for your convenience as well. For time being, I have kept it exploity master only. Simply copy this Python command right here. So this command is for installation only on the user, on the current user. But if you have root privileges on your system and you want a system wide installation, you can use this command, which I'm going to show right now. Simply omit out double hyphen user and include a sudo at the beginning of the command. Hit enter. So yeah, that has installed exploity on our system. I simply copy, exp uh, simply write exploity on the terminal. Hit enter. So yeah, this means exploity framework has been successfully installed on our system. Now moving on, the second method of downloading the archive is, you can head to the exploity repository at GitLab. You can see a download, uh, a download icon right here click on it, you can download the type of archive you want and then you can just simply extract it, extract the files from it and install using the same commands that I just showed you. Now heading on, the second method of installation is by checking out from git or from cloning from git. Simply copy this git clone command right here. As you can see, the exploity, let's change your current directory to exploity, and then use the same command uh, that I just showed you. But again, since I'll be doing system wide installation, I'll be showing you um, the sudo command. So we have successfully installed the exploity framework. Let's just check it out once. So yeah, we have installed the exploity using the git. So here again, warning for the Kali Linux user, you don't have to use the double hyphen user. And since you're already root, you don't have to use sudo as well. And here are some Troubleshooting tips for the other different distros. So the documentation I'm currently referring to is available on exploity.readthedocs.io. So you can check it out yourself as well. 
So the second method of installation that I'm going to show you is using pipe PyPI, which is Python package index. So the command for this is this. We'll simply copy it. This is again for the user installation, but I'll be doing a system-wide installation. So I'll omit out double hyphen user and enter sudo. So it has successfully installed. Let's quickly check it out. So yeah, it has installed. So likewise, this command is for upgrade. And if you have done a sudo installation, you just have to add sudo and omit out double hyphen user. So exploity framework is a part of many of your favorite distros. At the moment, it is part of the Fedora package collection. So you don't have to install the dependency separately. You just have to run this one command, which is sudo dnf hyphen y install exploity and everything would be done for you. Also, Exploity Framework is a part of Fedora Security Labs. And here's a link for the same. So since I'm running Ubuntu on my system, I'll be showing this in the VM. This is Fedora 31. I'll just pull up the terminal. So as you can see, I have already done the installation using the same command that I just showed you to do everything for you, installing the Python packages, all the dependencies and everything. So let's just check it out once. Once this is done, you have to simply type in exploity on your terminal. And here it is. You're good to go. So moving on. The last method of installation is in the containers. So there is a, a few things that you have to keep in mind while you're using this mode of installation. Since the application, since the framework would be running in a container, you don't have to um, install all the dependencies locally. But there's a catch to it as well. Since we'll be interfacing a lot of hardware in the coming videos, which are a part of the framework, the plugins. So um, if you are only an advanced user and you know and have a good depth of using containers, then only that uh, this method is recommended because again, um, you'll have issues interfacing the uh, hardware with the uh, framework running in the container. So now let's start with the container. First, you have to start your Docker daemon. And if you're using podman, the binary should be there. So I'll simply use this command to start my Docker daemon. Let's start with the build process. Yeah, you have to change the directory to exploity. So I use a podman command by mistake. So I'll switch to Docker. Remove this here, enter sudo. So that would start my build process. So while it is being done, I'll show you how to run it with Docker. So simply again, copy this command, which is sudo docker run hyphen it exploity, hit enter. So yeah. This is your dog. Uh, this is your exploity framework running in a container. Let's just check it out. It's, everything is working fine. So 
So yeah, that was it for this video. I have shown you the different methods of installation of exploitive framework on your system. So you can head on to our website, which is www.exploity.io to check the cool hardware tools and get more information about the exploitive framework and the tools that I'll be going to use in the coming videos. And you can refer to the documentation that I just did, which is available at exploity.readthedocs.io. For all the latest news and updates regarding the framework, you can go on to Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube. So that was it for this video. Hope you understood whatever I taught and see you in the next. Thank you.